Are you looking for what you can make for yourself or serve your guests this season? Guys, this delicious, crunchy, but budget-friendly chin chin that I'm about to show you might just be what you need. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to show you how to make this crunchy, delicious, and budget-friendly chin chin. And if this looks like what you're interested in, keep watching, alright? And make sure you watch to the end because I might I'll be sharing some tips with you as we go along. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. To a bowl, I'll be adding three eggs. You can make it six, okay? Then the next thing I'm adding now is the vanilla powdered flavor. Then also milk powdered flavor. Then the next thing I'm adding now is the milk powder itself. Then you want to add in not make and for the powdered milk guys you can use evaporated milk okay then you just want to mix that up thoroughly till it's nicely combined all right now that i'm done with that i'm going to add in some water and the reason is i'll be adding sugar next and for the sugar to dissolve very fast you want to add in some water to do that so next i'll be adding now is my sugar i'm using one and a half cup of sugar then you want to mix it to combine till it comes out nice, okay? And you will be seeing the result in a bit. And when it comes out like this, it shows that your sugar is nicely melted. And you want to set that aside for later use, okay? So to a bowl, I'll be adding my all purpose flour. It's already sifted and you want to make sure you use a wider bowl to mix your flour. Then the next thing I'm adding now is the powder, I mean baking powder, sorry. So you want to mix that to combine. You can as well skip the baking powder if your egg is enough. Maybe you are using up to six eggs or probably seven. Then the next thing I'll be adding is the butter. You need butter in this for this recipe. And I'm using salted butter. Then you want to mix that up thoroughly till it's combined. And I will advise you take out, you know, maybe about a cup of flour aside before you start mixing. Okay, because you might need it later. Alright, it's very safe to do that. Then the next thing I've added now is the egg mixture we made earlier. Then I rinse the bowl, you know, to add more water to the dough. And I prefer to add my water gradually. You know, that way I don't over hard water. And that's what I'm doing here. And this is the, and I noticed that I need more water. You can see me adding more right here. Then you just want to go ahead to mix it till it's nicely combined. So I'll be taking it off the camera now to mix very well. Guys, you need your boat's hand now to mix it very well till it's smooth. And this is me coming back to show you guys my result. And this is how it is right now. You can see it's not so hard, it's not sticky, and that is it. So, you leave it to rest for about 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes, I came back to it. Then you want to make sure your work surface is clean, then dust in some flour. Add the dough on it, you know, use your rolly pin to roll it. And if you don't have rolling pin, you can actually use bottle and do that, you know. So this is the thickness I want. You can actually roll it the way you want it, guys. So then I'm going to go ahead to use my rolling cutter to cut the chin chin or the dough out. And if you don't have a rolling cutter, guys, you can use your kitchen knife and do it, okay? And you can see how easy it is for me now to cut the dough out. Simply because the dough is not too light. Okay? So it's very easy for me to do. Then the next thing I'm going to be adding oil into my pan. And I like to test the oil with some with some chin chin before I continue frying. I'm actually saying it from the experience because I have, I have had an experience like that where I got my chin chin soaked. And, and that's the reason for that. So now that I'm sure about the temperature of the oil, I'm just going to, you know, Go ahead and add the chin chin and stir fry at interval. That way the chin chin can fry evenly. So you want to make sure you stir fry, guys. It's very important. You do it at interval. Alright, so I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have not liked the video, please do so give me a thumbs up and share with your friends, okay? So I'm testing with one chin chin to be sure that the 
chin chin is nicely fried and if it's, it's the right time for me to take it out of the oil and guys it is ready don't worry the camera is not doing justice right now but i will soon show you how bright it is guys it's so bright so inviting can you see it yeah <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye